So hi dear Gemini, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a general love, love reading for all the Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Keep in mind this is general, it might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the roles can be reversed also. Third thing, this is a reading from 18 till the 24th of November for those who are in complete no contact or no communication and wants to know what's going on on the other side. Keep in mind the roles can be reversed also and the action can be from your side also. And if it is not resonating, it's not your story. If you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description box for the same. If you want to start your self-healing journey with Ho Ponopono but don't know from where to start, you can definitely start by purchasing my masterclass. Again, the link is in the description box for the same and it has the power to change your life for the rest of your life. Trust me on that. I'm doing it from a very, very long time now. And if you want a one-on-one -on -one healing sessions or personal readings, you can check out the description box and you can mail me for the same. So let's start. Okay, Gemini, the person that you have no contact or no communication with their current feelings for you right now at this present moment are, let's see. We have the five of swords, the two of pentacles, the ten of swords. Wow, there is no more confusion. There is no more on and off, in and out from this person's side. There is no more uh, ifs and buts. This person got the clarity, thousand percent clarity about this situation, about their feelings for you. But their ego is so high, they feel like they should never tell you what they are feeling. They should never be vulnerable in front of you or they should never express you what they are going through and what they are feeling for this situation. Never, ever, ever in this lifetime. So this person is highly egoistic. They know, they know they got the clarity. They know they understood uh, the situation. They understood the whole dynamics of whatever happened between you guys. There's no more confusion. There's no more ifs and buts and anything like that from their side. But their ego is too high. They feel like, why should I even tell Gemini? Why should I, uh, I even express Gemini? And why should I even, you know, consider the, consider the factor of connecting with Gemini? So basically being very, very dishonest with themselves only because they know what they are doing is not right with themselves. Forget about you, with themselves only. Let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions for the situation between you and them, Gemini? <clears throat> we have the high priestess, the two of cups and the devil. See, they're obsessed with the idea of keeping their emotions to themselves no matter what. Now, it could be very much possible that they are dealing with other person, other energy as well and they don't want you to know about this or even if you know about this, they don't want, reveal, they don't want to reveal too much about this to you at all at any cost. They just want to keep their emotions, keep their energies and keep their relationships as secretive as they can and they just don't want to open up to you no matter what the case may be. It's like they just want to be like a closed book who never want to share anything like a, the book of secret or something. It's like no matter what, I'm not going to open up to Gemini, no matter how much I am dying for them, no matter how obsessed I am feeling for them, I am never going to open up to Gemini ever in this lifetime because of my ego, simple plain ego it is. And if they're dealing with other energy, other person, even if you know about it, they don't want to let you know more about that. Wow. They just want to put on this mask of I don't care, I don't give a shit, everything is good, everything is fine, I don't give a damn about Gemini. That's it, period. Cool. Let's see what action is this person going to take towards you, if any, by the um, 24th of November. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant and the Nine of Swords. I don't see any kind of action being taken from this person's side. They are going to be highly, highly stressed out in this energy of they want something long term, they want something stable with or without you. It's not about you only. It's about them being uh, engaged with other energy also and or they have this uh, complete uh, desire of wanting to be with somebody for the long term for the rest of their life but they're stressed out that it is never going to happen. So in your case, they don't want to be vulnerable in front of you. They don't want to even tell you that they have emotions for you but they want something long term in their life with or without you. That is the case here. And they're very, very stressed out. They can't sleep at night thinking about this thing that they will never be able to get the one for them. Wow. So it's a typical case of somebody feeling the feelings for you, feeling the feelings for the situation. It's not completely dead from their side. But at the same time, they are refusing to even tell it to themselves only. Again, forget about you, forget about telling you or something. They are denying uh, the fact that they still have emotions for you and they got the clarity about the situation. They just, don't do, they just don't want to open up to you at any cost. 
the guidance for your page of cups if if you want to resolve the issue from your side with this person you can definitely do that but if you are waiting for this person to come back around and resolve the issue with you it's not got, going to happen at least not this week maybe this month because the way they they are portraying themselves as a very rigid energy this person is very hard not to crack and it's very very difficult for this person to come come back around and open up to you and be vulnerable in front of you i don't think so so if you can do it from your side and if you feel like you should do it from your side just by all means try to do that and if you get a, a good response very good if you don't get any response then you have to like find your own closure and move on never look back then simple and plain yeah this is the most painful thing that we have to do as humans but this is how it is honey we have to like be honest with ourselves hmm so yeah thank you so much for tuning in gemini i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste